Welcome back everybody to another Star Trek product review and this week it's going to be part one of me taking a closer look at another book to boldly go rare photos from the TOS soundstage season two. A couple of weeks ago I have done two videos about uh, the book covering season one so feel free to watch the videos if you haven't done so previously this is the table of contents you can see every episode of season two is covered this is the forward the preface offers node and this is how every episode looks like. You get the title, director, writer, date of filming, cost. And this is a nice NBC publicity photo. And here we have some clipboard shots. Most of the pictures feature a clipboard. So you can see that uh, they were taken from probably the 35 millimeter negatives and were cut of course from the final episode the second episode filmed was metamorphosis director was ralph senensky and this is a pretty unusual side leonard nemo is spoke laughing this is the pre-special effect version before they edit their the companion. This is from a deleted scene. More clipboard shots. This one is actually signed by Elizabeth Donahue. Eleanor Donahue, sorry. Now <laughs> These are some completely random shots of the three main actors eating backstage. And the next episode was Friday's Child, which did cost several more than 200,000. Which is a common trend that this season they went uh, over budget almost on every episode. I'm not really sure why did I uh, hold on that picture so long. <laughs> more NBC publicity photos and more deleted scenes. It's a pity that these scenes were not uh, included in last year's Roddenberry's Vault Blu-ray box set. Now this is when they moved to Vasquez Rocks. The falling down of the huge rock. Artificial light. And who mourns for Adonais? I'm not really sure why is it called Adonais. Or Adonais, uh, shouldn't it be simply Adonis? This is the beautiful Leslie Parrish in her ancient Greek looking robe. More clipboard shots from different scenes for different actors. Now this is the stuntman doing two different takes of the famous jump in which he managed to uh, seriously hurt his back. The famous green hand holding the Enterprise mentioned also in the movie Star Trek Beyond. The blue screen element of Apollo for the scene where he was a giant. A 
probably missed something. Okay. Another picture of Leslie Parrish, this time uh, from a different TV show, Mannix. I have never seen or heard about it. Amok Time by Fyodor Sturgeon. One of the best episodes of the second season. This is a publicity photo for NBC. These are more NBC publicity shots for this episode. And the uh, classical clapperboard shots. Here you can see the how they transported. The guy had to swipe away their footprints. More publicity shots. And more clapper board shots. This is uh, the child version of Spock's Bride. Mr. Freddy Phillips creating the Vulcans. They had to create many, many Vulcans for this episode. The Doomsday Machine. Again, wonderful episode. One of many fan favorites. More clipboard shots with Mr. Bill McGovern. This is the special effect. Couple of special effects shots. A destroyed Enterprise. Or ex uh, sorry, Constitution. Wolf in the fold. And many pictures where you can see that uh, William Shatner definitely enjoyed shooting this scene. Now the change link. This one was pretty cheap. Begins with an NBC publicity photo and continues with more clipperboard shots. For those of you who haven't seen this episode, the story is basically the same as in Star Trek the motion picture. At least the basic premise of the story. The Apple. Wow, this was, was pretty expensive. Don't really know why. It wasn't that good. Another smiling Spock. Okay, this was the only part of this episode I like. The explosions. And they really look dangerous. Val, the famous computer god. Mirror, mirror. Another one of the fan favorite episodes. And more and more and more Bill McGovern clapperboard shots. It's interesting to also see them having some fun between takes.
Barbara La Luna. And the main hero of the t whole TV show, the USS Enterprise. The Deadly Years. This was kind of an interesting episode with some really nice looking makeup work, at least for 1967. Here are some pictures of William Shatner aging. And the funny thing is that now in real life he looks much better than he looked in the episode. Scotty James Doohan also looked pretty good. Old Kirk and Old McCoy. Old McCoy. Commodore Stalker. I Matt, a sequel to the season one episode Matt's Women. And with twins, a lot of lot of twins. It's kind of creepy to see everybody twice. I don't remember that girl from the episode. So that was probably a deleted scene. This is from the blooper. A couple of NBC publicity shots. And the trouble with tribbles. And as I'm looking at the time, this is a good time to stop. So we will continue from this episode on next week in part two, which will probably be the last part of this video. So thank you very much for watching. For those of you who stayed until the end, uh, if you like these little product reviews, uh, I'm doing them every week. So feel free to watch any of the previous videos on my channel. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.